Hey guys, YBCB here and welcome back to another Bit Heroes video. I know it's been some time, namely because I've been trying hard to farm some new stuff for you guys to see and that's what we have today. So, the patch just hit a couple days back, a new raid, new content, new endgame. It is pretty hard. As you can see, most of my yellow gear has been replaced with the new um, reddish... Let's go with red. Yeah, the new pink. Alright, let's go with pink. The new pink gear. And these are tier 6, which means they are better than the legendaries from the second raid, which we you know the Rainbow Land, remember that one? So they are better than that, so, you know, if you have like a, if, if you, you know, this is what I recommend. If you have fully upgraded tier 4 legendaries, you can proceed to try and clear the last zone, which is Aramor. Try and clear it, and then just proceed on to the third raid, which is the final raid. And try and add some good friends to help you with that. So I'm just going to quickly go through the raid because it's pretty uh, straightforward. Here we have Derwin, the Woodbeard Sheldon without any warning. Uh, pay attention, young hero, the story not boring. What? Ah! Oh, why? <laughs> Man, the guy who writes this shit. He is here to destroy and pillage our land with a beard made of wood and cutlass in hand. Oh, God. Oh my god, is that you, Lil Wayne? <laughs> Do us all a great pleasure. Defeat him and loot all of his legendary treasure. Okay, I saw that one coming. So, I can't do hard. I can, but it's really hard. Like the name says, okay? I'm gonna show you guys normal. So what you need for R3? Of course, like every other raid, uh, except for raid 1. You, I mean, raid 1 you don't really need, but every other raid you need a tank. So, I'm gonna run with Net6, that's my tank for now. I'm Jason, it's been nice knowing you! You come here and then you click Auto first. Alright, and it's gonna pick the best friends that you have. The best friends that you have. But this guy pays way more! <laughs> you need a second guy that can soak some damage. I think that Toby over here, even though he's the DPS build, 300 damage, I mean 300 health, is enough for R3 normal. For R3 hard though, you will need another tank with at least 600, you know, stamina or something because it's gonna take a lot of damage, yeah? So the rest of the slots, you can basically fill with damage dealers. So as you can see, this is Raid 3. It's basically the inside, I think, it is the inside of a ship. A ghost ship. And it's filled with, like, seafood. Why are we at times one speed? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a new phone, yeah? So, it's basically seafood, stuff from Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, pirates. Uh, skeletons, bombs, and things like that. Everything here, like the rest of the game, can be captured. There are legendary schematics that drop off here. I have a legendary schematic. And I tell you that, I didn't even notice that I got it. I got a legendary schematic off of this, and it's gonna be the best pet, best familiar ever uh, when I eventually get it. But for today, I'm gonna show you something else. I'm gonna show you one of the uh, familiars that I managed to capture from here and I managed to get a schematic as well to become a really fun unit actually I don't even know if it's gonna be fun or not I don't even know if it's gonna be effective or not but I like the skills you just hang tight for that while I just you know while we just finish this raid this right here oh shit ah I forgot to pause it right these are things that you can pick up from the ground on the ship the one that you just saw that is a double loom all right, and that is the material that you get when you sort of uh, exchange one of the legendaries from this raid. If you exchange any legendary from this raid, you will get 10 doubloons. And these doubloons, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but they're used for upgrading these raid 3 tier 6 legendaries. And you need like a lot of them. But fortunately, even in normal mode, you can pick them off the ground. I've ever picked up to four or five of these in a single run, so the drop rate is pretty okay. Now if you notice during this raid, you will see this. Everyone here has like a pink color bar aside of aside, you know, beside the green bar, which is the health bar, right? So this is a new mechanic called shielding. It basically is like healing, but it's like healing that can be stored. Is this the boss? Yes, this is. Captain Woodbeard, this is the boss of the stage, right? Before we go into this, let me just explain further. The shielding mechanic is something new, right? It's basically, you had healing before, and now you have shielding, which is also mitigated damage. So when you make a team, it is good to have a combination of shielding and healing. 
right? Shielding lets you store bonus HP for the last encounter. Between trash mobs, you can accumulate shield. As long as it doesn't get used up, you will have additional excess HP you can use for, you know, a strong encounter that you might need that additional HP for. Okay, Captain Woodbeard, well, shave me belly with a rusty razor. Who is this scallywag who has stumbled upon my galleon? Wait, what? Why did it not rhyme? <laughs> Where is the fucking rhyme, Captain Woodbeard? Uh, dot, 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 of course. Shiver me timbers, ye be covered in booty that belong to me. Avas ye prepare to dance. Hey, where is the rhyme? <laughs> I was expecting a rhyme right there. Okay, so this is the boss fight. Why do I say you need an off tank? Because right here you will notice that the boss is gonna- I'm gonna slow this down to uh, times two times three speed. And you will notice that the boss will sometimes take swings. That will cleave the front two guys. And he will do equal damage. So if, for example, the boss, you see right there, 1,300 damage, right? And the shield from before helps a lot to mitigate that as well. So, if you're, uh, sometimes it can crit and it will do like 2,000, 3,000 damage. So that's why the guy in second place on your team has to be kind of tanky as well. For example, I'm getting my ass carried here, right? But this is what you do uh, in our, if, you know, when I do a hard mode raid of this. What I do is that whenever this guy loses HP, what I do is I switch the guy from behind. This is me, right? Look at this. I have the shield from before when we cleared the earlier stages, right? So now I can afford to take one of those cleave hits and still survive. You get what I'm saying? So you keep swapping them around and expend all these. Look at that. Look at that right there. I survived the hit from the boss, right? So you just keep swapping people around and then you realize that you can actually do hard mode or maybe even, I won't say heroic, but you can do hard by just making use and exploiting the shield that you stored up from the earlier trash waves. And then with enough pots, you can't even, you know, you might be able to bring new uh, limits that you, you never thought you could. So that's that's why the new shield mechanic is useful. So anyway, there's Captain Woodbeard. He's dead. You can capture him as well, right? It can all be captured. And I believe Captain Woodbeard plus Kaleido from Raid 2 becomes a brand new monster. Of course, you need the schematic for that. And schematics are really hard to find. So that's it for Raid 3 Woodbeard's Booty. Booty. <laughs> Just want to give a quick shout out to the people that helped me along. Uh, Toby, of course, best player in the game. And all of these people over here, Ancon, Death Reaper, you know, those who are not in, uh, Nat takes my guilty, those who are not um, in here. Good old Jason from before and everyone on my friends list. Once again, thank you all for being tryhard so that I have the opportunity to make new videos of new content. It wouldn't be possible without you guys. On to today's fusion. This is what I got today. Parks. This notification is blocking it though. 15% dual strike. This is an R3 fusion. Alright, if you look at the skills, it is interesting because it's random. Look at that. Bombard deals 300 to 1200. That's a big, big range. And it's a random enemy. But it only costs 1 SP. I'm gonna fuse this guy right here. So we're gonna click fuse. And it's, are you sure you wanna fuse? You will lose patches and barks in the process. Yes. Let's go. So this is what happens when you fuse, okay? They go through a machine. This is the first time I've shown you guys this, right? So this is how the fusion works. And then he goes down and he comes up as a rat for some reason. Oh, no! You ruined it, Jon Snow! <laughs> he ruined it! The animation, he ruined it! Oh, fuck, I've, I've got to stop that. Anyway, this is Parks, guys. So he is basically a green rat now, right? He's basically a green rat. With 15% dual strike. Let's take a look at him. Right? Again, randomness. Let's test him out in PvP. Okay, let's see. Kanashi machine. Yeah, this guy looks like he's okay. He looks like it's okay. Let's fight him. <laughs> let's fight him. Let's go. I, he doesn't have one of those new pets, right? I'm, I'm gonna auto this. Okay. So, let's see. Let's uh, let's start. He's running shrimps. And what is this thing behind though? I don't recognize it. Uh, it's, it's an old pet for sure, but I, I don't know the name of it. This doesn't matter. Uh, what we're we doing here? What is this skill? This is a enemy target one, right? I'm gonna target the one behind because I feel that this one hits hard. Oh my god, does he heal? Okay, here we go, guys. Bombard deals 300 to 1200 damage to a random enemy with a 15% chance for dual strike. Please, sir. Come on. 
A thousand two hundred and crit. Let's go. God damn it, four hundred. That wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Can I crit? Oh no, I need a miracle here. I need a miracle here because we're in trouble. I need a miracle. Come on, bombard! We crit something for 700. Not quite enough. Not quite enough. Can I crit this guy, please, at the back? No. No crit. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, do we have one more bombard? A star is almost dead, guys. Wait, what does this do? 302 to all enemies. Do you think I can kill? No. I think I'm still gonna use this on the guy behind. Make sure he dies. Make sure he dies. Okay, he did now. Bombard, can you crit? 1100! Goodbye, shrimps! Okay, it's now 2v1. I hit him pretty hard. I hit him pretty hard. Holy shit, he killed me. There was some lag and he killed me. So it's just me now. Parks against this guy. Oh, he hits hard. Bombard the motherfucker. <laughs> okay, we made it out alive. That was close though. It was down to the wire. Parks versus the enemy champion or hero or, you know, player. Let's see. Space time. What is this pet? Shoot. Widowmaker. No thank you. No thank you. Come on. Be a scrub. Blue pet. Level 144 though. This guy's higher level than me. This guy's higher, higher level than me, but uh, let's do him. Alright, let's do him. Pepet man. Let's go. Let's hope for some dual striking parks action. Oh, they're, they're really fast though. They're way faster than me. What, uh, who do I, who do I attack? The one behind? What do you guys think? The one behind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go for the one behind. Oh, evade! Bombard dual strike, please! 736, that's okay. That's okay. Oh dear. Oh, they're in some trouble, guys. We are in some trouble. Please, don't evade! Okay, okay. Just a bit more. A star, survive a bit more. Or a bird, just a bit more, a star. Just survive a bit more. Just one more turn. Should I bombard, guys? Should I bombard or should I go for the fixed damage? Let's go for bombard. I like the randomness. Okay, we might get a dual strike here. Please. No! That was the worst case scenario. Oh, fuck. We're gonna lose this. Oh, no. Does he have one more turn? Does my good friend Park have one more turn? Let's uh, how should I, what should I do here? Should I just do the, the single attack? Yeah, do the single attack. Bombard, can you clutch this? Can we crit this guy? Come on! Oh, he blocked! He blocked that! Okay, attack. Almost there! What is this? Snipe him. 475, wow! He is blocking everything, that guy. Oh yeah, he had that... He had the little uh, accessory that blocks, right? So, so far I think that Park's doing okay. I mean, for a pink pet. For a pink pet and not a legendary pet, I think he did okay. Let's do one last one. VV Master. VV Master. Let's give it a go, alright? Parks. I want to see a dual strike from Parks. Can you do it? What is this? This is, uh, this is a reflecting tank. So I have to target down this monster at the side. Or the one behind. Either one. Evade, okay. Mmm. This guy. God damn it! Stop evading! Please, Parks, come on. 1,400! Woohoo! Okay, okay. One more hit. One more hit and this guy's dead. One more hit, come on. Don't you fucking evade, man. Don't you fucking evade. Okay, he dead. He dead. Good, 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 good. No, Parks! Fucker! It's 2v2 now, guys. Oh, should I, should, I, should I go for him behind? I think if I go for him behind, if I crit, I can kill him. Let's go for him behind, okay? What the fuck? Don't you dare. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to target the one in front. Because I think the one behind has some crazy evasion, right? Target the one in front. Almost dead, almost dead. Come on. Almost dead. One more hit. Motherfucker, die already! What? Double evades in a row! How the fuck is that possible? How the fuck is that possible? Snipe him. Kill him. Oh, oh shit. Don't you fucking evade. Don't you fucking evade. Don't you... No!
<laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> that was crazy! Whoa! <laughs> I had beat the beat. I had, I take it. I take it. <laughs> Alright, that's all the time we have for today. As you can see, a legendary schematic has finally dropped for me. The Astali schematic. This basically means the Raid 1 boss, Astaroth, you know, a star. And Bully from Raid 3. Once I have this, I can make a Stali, which is a deflect tank. 12% deflect chance. I can't wait. And we'll be farming the shit out of R3 to get this one. And hopefully, you guys can see it in the next video. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Never say